my dad was there at an early age, but when I was younger, like around that age, eight, it's one day I was just waiting, seeing when he was going to pick me up. It was just a random weekend. It wasn't nothing special going on. He never came. Now, don't get me wrong, later, like around probably 16, 17, he's come around, he's come to help here and there, but it's just not that parental role that one is supposed to provide for their children. When I did realize that, I just realized, you know, I have my mom, I have my sister, I can't be dwelling over the fact that he's not here. I just realized that I have to man up, you know, mature, stop being childish, do what I have to do. Just him not being there at that type of age, it was an eye-opener, basically, so, yeah. Not too long after, my grandpa passed away. That was hard for my grandma, that was hard for my mom, hard for me as well, my sister, so that was just tough. I ended up being the man of the house, literally the only man in the house. My mom not being able to work like, at the moment because she has surgery, you know, she has to cope with that. I just want to see my mom in a better place. From my perspective, it's just something that pushes me, honestly. It's nothing to hold me back. If my mom is not doing well, it's only motivation for me to do better so she can never end up in a place like that again. You guys have a nice day. Have fun in your field trip, that man. All right. Love you guys. Love you too. Hello, sir. How are you? Huh? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Do you do scholarships? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll be checking. I have mentors. I have people that guided me, like Mr. Morris, my guidance counselor, Vladimir. Just having them there helps me out a lot. I've told him several times, I don't know how he functions daily with some of the things that he's gone through, but you would never know by the smile that he wears around campus. He's always happy, he's always upbeat. He sees the bright sides of everything. He never uses anything that's happened to him as a reason for him not to be successful. Thank you. Good morning. Thank this you. is for you. All right, thank you. As I grew to know his story, when he grew to the point where he can do things on his own, such as get a job, make the grades, you know, provide, he's got the captain of this ship in a nutshell. It really, I think, has made him be the young man that he is because that foundation, knowing that he is the strength and, you know, the, the young man, the man of the house. How's the opera? Fine. I mean, it was okay. Only okay? Well, my sister, she's obviously the, the youngest in the family, so she needs somebody to look up to. If I'm over here doing bad things, doing this, doing that, that's not really helping her. She really does see that positivity in me, so I think that rubs off on her. Let's say I get A's on my report card, she'll be like, oh, Ricky got A's? You know what, Ricky, I'm gonna do that. So then she'll end up doing that, and then that's when it's like, oh, okay, I did my job. I'm helping her become a better person. Are you guys embarking or debarking? Embarking, okay. So you guys know you can wait over there, correct? Okay, perfect. And make sure you have your boarding passes and your passports as well. At first when I got the job, right, it was for it was so I could help my family. But then I realized that, you know, me needing a car or whatever, my mom was like, Rick, you can I can't afford this car. You have to work in order to get what you need for your car or whatever. And I was like, okay, mom, I'll do so. So I worked. Miami Airport, yes. One of those buses on the front of the buses, it'll say Miami Airport. And you just go on that bus. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is my first job, so it was weird. I was like, oh, this is real? Like, this is money? And I was really happy, honestly. It was a feeling I never felt before. I'm going to suit you a little bit later on. Okay, that's fine. You know I'm saying just in case they don't have the boarding pass here. Yeah. I eventually worked my way up to buying that car, getting the car. Insurance is very expensive. So I was like, okay, mom, I'll continue to work, help pay for the insurance. So she does have to have more stress on her than she already has now. Good morning. Transport to airport. Transport to airport. Yeah, no, I'm down there, down there. Have a safe trip home, have a safe trip home. You're welcome, you're welcome. Hey. Just playing basketball just gets my mind off things, you know, dribbling, basketball, shooting. Hey. Basketball, walking around, listening to music, that gets me through life. His freshman year, he didn't make the team here at the school. That was motivation for him to go home every day after school and practice independently. Since then, he's practiced every single day, and that's why he was the captain of the basketball team this year and last year. 
So I do take it very seriously, just being on the court, because at the end of the day, helping people on the court and off the court is what means the most, honestly. Making sure they're doing the right things in the game, doing the right things at home, right things at school. I just want to see them get to a better place in either it's basketball and life, everything. So that's why I take it so seriously. Oh, hello. Hi. How was your day? It was good. Anything she asks me to do, I'll even offer to help. If she will try to take out the garbage, I'll be like, Mom, I got it. She's like, no, no, I got it. I'm like, Mom, please let me get it because she's just done so much for me. I just don't want to see her do any more, honestly. I just want her to see me help her. You give the best prayers, so here you, you can do it. Okay. And to thank God for providing us food and... Well, my experience is it just helps me out a lot, honestly, because at the end of the day, I could look back and be like, Rick, that's what you were, and Rick, this is what you are now, and Rick, this is what you're going to be. This is what you want to be. So looking at my past, it's just like, you know, people go through a lot. I have not gone through the worst, honestly. I know I haven't, but obviously I haven't been through the best. Most recently, over the summer, he went to a summer camp at the University of Central Florida where he's going to attend college next year. He did one week there at the Summer Institute, and they had an overnight trip, and I think they did some turtle sea nesting. My ultimate goal is to be a marine biologist, and being a marine biologist, it is, I'll be able to research many marine animals, help if any are like endangered species, I can help with that as well. When Rick sets out to do something, he's going to do it. So definitely he says that he officially wanted to be a marine biologist. I have no doubt in my mind that UCF will get him to be a marine biologist. In Rick's case, had it not been for this scholarship, I don't know that he would have had the opportunity to go away to University of Central Florida. So he's very thankful. I'm very thankful because I know his mom, she, she does whatever she can to help. So this is a huge thing for them. My mom called me during school and I realized that I got the scholarship and she told me she was happy and I, I just burst out like I, I cried. With the help of Carnival Scholarship, he will be able to afford the dream that he actually wants to do. At the end of the day, I'll always be grateful for Carnival for giving me that um, opportunity to do so.